A story posted on our website got a lot of you talking after a small town city mayor near Augusta said registered sex offenders in his city had to report to authorities on Halloween night, which brings us to today's 13 WMAZ poll. Do you think sex offenders should be rounded up on Halloween? You can vote yes or no on our website, 13WMAZ.com slash vote, or open our app and go to the vote tile and let us know what you think. Zach Burchin is live in Houston County to tell us how law enforcement is handling Halloween in Central Georgia. Yeah, Lori, Halloween right around the corner. And for kids right now, a lot of them, they're thinking about the candy, thinking about the costumes, what they're going to wear. And a lot of parents, they're thinking about that too. But they're also thinking about who's going to be behind the next door their child knocks on. This is very scary. That's why in the last three years we haven't been out like just trick or treating door to door. That's what was going through Nikiza Simmons mind last year while she got ready for Halloween in Macon with her child. A year later, plenty of parents all across central Georgia still thinking about their child's safety. I've heard it a little bit. So what happens to registered sex offenders during trick or treating? In Grovetown, a city near Augusta, the mayor says all offenders on probation must report to a building while kids are out. But Houston County Assistant District Attorney Eric Edwards said that's not the case in his county. I've never heard had any of them mentioned to me that this is happening with the sex offenders. That it's just not something that we do here in Houston County. He says law enforcement works hard all year long to keep track of where every sex offender in Houston County lives. These are persons who have either pled guilty or been convicted of um, committing crimes that we as a society hold out to be some of the most um, vile and reprehensible crimes that can be committed. A spokesperson for a sex offenders advocacy group said law enforcement has the right to ask offenders to turn themselves in while kids are out, as long as the policy is limited to those who are on probation or parole. But she argued it's not an effective way to keep kids safe, citing research that says sex crimes against children do not increase during Halloween. ADA Edwards said he'd never heard of any research to dispute that, but said it's still a good idea for parents to check the sex offender registry. because. This is probably the only point in the year where most parents are going to be letting their kids go to uh, strangers' houses or at least barely acquaintances' houses um, and asking for candy. And there are a couple ways how you can find out if there are registered sex offenders living near you or near your trick-or-treating route. The first is through the Georgia Bureau of Investigation's online registry. And the second is through this app. It's through the U.S. Department of Justice and it actually uses your phone's current location to let you know of any addresses of registered sex offenders near where you are right now. Instructions on how to find those tools and to download them are all on our website, 13WMAZ.com. Live in Houston County, Zach Merchant, 13WMAZ News. Thanks a lot, Zach. And Bibb County Sheriff's deputies follow a similar procedure. Sergeant Clay Williams says the Bibb Sheriff's Office does not make all registered sex offenders turn themselves in for supervision during Halloween. But he says due to the large number of children who will be out that night, a group of officers will be doing random checks at the homes of the offenders on October 31st. And in our 13W MAZ poll, many of you said that uh, no, actually it's like half and half. Half yes, half no, that sex offenders should have to turn themselves in on Halloween.